The lights came on all at once. Chen found herself in the brightly lit hallway at the crest of a sharp turn. She heard shouts and the sound of heavy boots hitting the floor, getting closer. She decided to run at full speed in the direction of Rick's cell and face head-on whatever awaited. She would use the high ceiling to her advantage. As she cleared the sharp curve, she caught a glimpse of the first commando's helmet and vaulted in midair over the approaching phalanx, holding the rifle close to minimize air resistance and turning a full 360-degree somersault, clearing the group as it ran under her. She landed behind them in a crouch as they stopped and turned to regain their bearings. Too late. She opened fire with a sustained burst of mechanized fire, the high-speed rounds tearing through their ballistic suits and helmets, hitting several in the backs of their legs and buttocks, grunts of pain punctuated by the sounds of their weapons firing randomly. Several went down. The point man, a female whose helmet had flown off, bled from a wound in her upper back, yet was able to turn and level her rifle at the crouching Chen. She got her in her sights and had her finger on the trigger, held her breath, fought off the pain and was about to squeeze when a bullet from another guard's rifle found her temple and splattered a portion of her brain out the other side of her head. Chen stood straight up, continuing to fire at will, knowing the ammo in the rifle would run out at any moment. The last of the guards fell to the floor. All seven were down. One lay on his back, helmetless, his eyes still open, looking at Chen. His lips tried to form the words. How, he whispered. How did... He stopped there and his head tilted to the side. A final agonal breath escaped his lungs. Chen walked over to him, raised her rifle and put one round in his head. She inspected the six others. All appeared to be dead. There was no other movement. She turned in the direction of Rick's cell and held her breath to listen again. There were no other voices or footsteps. Odd considering she was expecting an army. She looked behind her. The hallway was quiet. The dead immobile. She crept forward, rifle at the ready, turning as the hallway curved right again. She moved step by step, eyes glued to the crest of the turn. She picked up speed, anxious to reach Rick's cell. The hallway straightened, opened to a sight that took her breath away, and froze her in her tracks.